Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, introduction to arrays. Number 10, removing items. Sometimes we want to remove something from an array. In order to do this, you'll need to specify the index of the item you want to remove. So just like insert item, we have remove item. We have to point to the array we want to and the number or position we'd like to get rid, rid of, rid of. Note, remove item removes the location in the array at the index provided. As a result, the array is one location shorter and all the under indexes after that index provided will have their index decreased by one. That means if I take off the first word, everything shifts over. Do this, read the documentation for remove item, Starter code has been provided that creates an array. We're going to use remove item to individually remove all the remove strings in your array to form a complete sentence. Use console.log to confirm you successfully created your sentence. Keep an eye out. Your indexes will shift as you remove items. Looks like we have an original sentence, remove today. I'm remove, excited to learn, remove, remove about arrays. And the final sentence should say, today I'm excited to learn about arrays. Hmm, pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and look at our documentation first. Remove items here. Looks like this removes an item from the specified position and then shifts the items to the left. That means whatever is one will become zero, or if you had something that was like 230, it's 229 now. We have some examples and a queue that you can use that we will talk actually about a little later. I highly suggest you spend a little more time looking at this, but I think we're gonna jump back to our code now. What we really wanna do here is remove item and then display it in our console.log. And looking down here, we have our array sentence, which has the remove today, I'm excited, remove, remove, remove. We have a console.log statement that is displaying sentence, so that's displaying that first one. And then we have another one that's gonna display final sentence after we do something. Well, what do we wanna do? We're gonna to wanna to use this remove item code here. I'm gonna type in remove item. And the first thing I need to do is to point to a location. What do I want to update or remove? Well, the sentence array is what I want to do. And what do I want to get rid of? Again, since we're adding or removing, for me, it's helpful to have some sort of chart here we want to do. If I start from over here and I remove zero, that means I'm gonna to have to shift everything and I'm gonna to have to constantly update this list. What I propose though, is instead we work from the highest down low. So that means I have to remove eight and then that will get shifted down and then I gotta remove seven and then I should have to remove three and then finally zero. In this order, I only have to remove the removes. If I work this way, well, I'm gonna have to come back and I'm gonna have to constantly update these numbers as I do it. So after I removed the first one, then this would become from three to two, and then I just have to keep updating it. But moving the other way, I can shift it and not worry about it. That means I'm gonna start over here at the end. And if we look back up here, my first two removes is gonna be on position eight and position seven. So I think I can actually remove those two one right after another. I'm gonna remove position eight, semicolon, do another remove item. This is my sentence. And we wanna do position seven. Looks like I didn't spell sentence right up here as always a misspelling in my code. I'm gonna keep going here with my hypothesis. 
So now I did number seven, according to my chart here, because I'm moving this way, the next one I should have to remove is three. So on this standpoint, all I did was just delete these two, move these two over here. Numbers didn't change down here, only the indexes up here changed. So let's get rid of three now. And my final one This is going to be which position? Well, I just got rid of three, so I can move these down this way. All I have to remove still is zero. That means position zero is gonna get removed, semicolon. Now, my sentence is indexed like this. So today is zero and then as it moves up. Because I deleted downwards or from highest to lowest, I didn't have to worry about shifting things. I could just take them out and then move them over. I think now when I hit run, I should get my complete sentence here as the final sentence. Let's see if our hypothesis is right. We have their moves up here and down here. Today I'm excited to learn about arrays. So am I, because this has been a lot of fun. Looks like our code is working exactly like we wanted to. So to remove items, just removed parts from my array. Looking back up at to do this, we read the documentation. We looked through our starter code. We used remove item to remove strings in our array. And then console.log to see our new sentence. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they were anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.